Welcome to another Salesing.com Rules Discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 Racing Rules of Sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the relevant definitions and using animated scenarios with questions and answers. In this video, we'll cover Rule 13, which applies when boats are tacking. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for gener generating the animated scenarios. Rule 13 is in part two of the rules, which covers situations when boats meet or are about to meet. Section A of part two describes which boat has the right of way. Let's see what you remember about part two. Here are two questions. First, how many right of way rules are there in part two? There are four right-of-way rules, Rule 10, 11, 12, and 13. Are you penalized if you break one of the rules of Part 2 near the racing area, but before the starting sequence? This text is from the preamble to Part 2. Note that the rules do apply between boats that are sailing in or near the racing area, and intend to race, are racing, or have been racing. Note, however, that it says a boat not racing shall not be penalized for breaking one of these rules, except Rule 14, when the incident resulted in an injury or serious damage, or Rule 23.1. Here is Rule 13. Take a moment to read it. The rule says that after a boat passes head to wind, she shall keep clear of other boats until she is on a close hauled course. During that time, rules 10, 11, and 12 do not apply. The rule also says that if two boats are subject to this rule at the same time, the one on the other's port side or the one astern shall keep clear. Let's refresh our memory on the definition of keep clear. Take a moment to reread it. Remember that to keep clear, you must let the right-of-way boat sail her course with no need to take avoiding action. And, when you're overlapped, the right-of-way boat should be able to change course in both directions without immediately making contact. Let's look, take a look at five basic Rule 13 scenarios. Here's the first one. Watch what happens. Blue and yellow are sailing upwind. Blue tacks. During blue's tack, yellow heads up to avoid blue. There was no contact. Yellow alleges blue broke rule 13. Blue alleges she kept clear. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? Blue should take a penalty. Rule 13 requires blue to keep clear of other boats until she is on a close hauled course after passing head to wind. Blue did not keep clear between the time she passed head to wind until she was on a close hauled course. Here's the next scenario. This situation is similar to the last one except this time blue begins her tack earlier. However, yellow again heads up to avoid blue. There was no contact. Blue alleges she kept clear. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? Again, Blue should take a penalty. Even though Blue started her tack earlier, if you look closely, Blue still did not keep clear between the time she passed head to wind until she was on a close hauled course. Here's the next scenario. At the starting line, Blue tacks to leeward of Yellow and hails Yellow to keep it up. This is a fairly common scenario on the starting line. Yellow changes course but alleges Blue broke Rule 13. Blue claims she kept clear while tacking and was on starboard when Yellow changed course. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? Blue should take a penalty. Blue did not reach a close hauled course after passing head to wind and she failed to keep clear. 
Here's the next scenario. At the starting line, blue tacks to starboard and immediately luffs. Yellow changes course, but alleges blue broke rule 13. Blue claims she kept clear while tacking and was on starboard when yellow changed course. Which boats should promptly take penalty turns? There is no penalty. Blue did reach a close hauled course after passing head to wind and was on starboard tack. Note that Rule 13 requires keeping clear until you are on a close hauled course, not until your sails are trimmed. Once Blue was on starboard, Yellow kept clear as the windward boat. Here's the last scenario. Blue sails behind Yellow and then tacks. Yellow also begins a tack. At position 3, Yellow and Blue make contact. Both boats allege the other boat broke Rule 13. Which boat should promptly take penalty turns? Yellow should take a penalty. Both boats were tacking when contact occurred since neither had reached a close hauled course. In accordance with Rule 13, if two boats are subject to this rule at the same time, the one on the other's port side or the one astern shall keep clear. Yellow is on Blue's port side, so yellow is required to keep clear. Let's summarize with a question. At position 1, yellow is sailing on a close hauled course. At position 2, she begins heading up to tack. At which positions does Rule 13 apply to yellow? Rule 13 applies only at position 4. At position 4, yellow has passed head to wind, but has not yet borne off to a close hauled course. At positions 2 and 3, she has not yet passed head to wind. At position 5, she is on a close hauled course and therefore has completed her tack. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.